Hey guys, Kyle here and today I'm going to be helping you out with a small problem on the Elgato. Now, um, basically if you're stuck with no sound, you want to head over to your new uh, like Elgato.com. Um, you want to make sure your software is up to date. That Now, I've encountered the no sound problem with the Elgato HD, the Elgato HD60 and the Elgato HD60S. Now, you want to make sure your computer hits the specifications of that Elgato because then you won't be able to maybe get picture or sound and then that's kind of like a dilemma, you might have to upgrade your computer or downgrade to a different Elgato. Now what you're seeing on the screen right now is I've got my Ratchet & Clank game up, um, I've got no sound at all. Now I was just about to record and I was just like wow, no sound at all, what am I going to do, I not even any commentary. Now I'm going to go through quick fixes, really short video of how to fix this. Now, as you can see, no sound. Um, I basically take my HDMI cables, both of them, out of the Elgato, take your power cable out of your Elgato, and it'll come up um, saying there was no Elgato connected, plug them back in, and um, it'll come up one moment, please, and then um, it should come up with a normal kind of gameplay. As you can see on the screen back there, um, my Ratchet & Clank game come up um, really blurry and bright. And make sure they're connected right because that can bring some sound problems. You want to make sure your settings are set right and there's usually an untick bottom, uh, sorry, untick button next to the analog in the settings and you might not have this depending on what version you've got but you want to make sure you're using the HDMI unless you're using analog and make sure you're using a PlayStation if you're using a PlayStation or mobile or whatever you're using make sure they're correct because that can affect the sound and the video. Um, make sure you're using the, set, the right settings, exports, imports, um, and then when you go up to settings right at the top, I turn stream commands off, saves a lot of things. The files, what you're gonna export to, basically double check, triple check everything. And um, then what I usually do after that is I close down the Elgato, just kinda mess about with everything, open it back and forward and then I actually close it down and then reopen it. Sometimes that causes it to kind of like reboot and it can sometimes make everything work. Sometimes I turn my PlayStation off and my PC. Um, you shouldn't have to do this, by the way. It's just, I don't know why the Elgato does it. Um, if you're using headsets, um, make sure you've got your headset plugged in the right place because if you're plugged into your PlayStation, it can sometimes cause your console not to pick up game audio so that is a big problem if you're using xbox or ps4 that's a really big problem also if you're using a mix amp like an astro or turtle beach you want to make sure that's turned off unless you've got the connections properly set up for that because you won't get it like you see the stupid problem i had was the headset and um, but i have encountered problems where it wasn't the headset um, so basically check your analog, check your settings, make sure everything's unticked depending on what you're using. Um, there is sometimes problems where the analog is quite a big problem. Um, that is in the capture section next to the HDMI depending on what version you've got guys. If you want to know anything more, um, I might be able to help you with some of your problems. Leave a like or a comment down below, hit that subscribe button guys and I'll see you in the next episode.